Yo, what's up, everybody? Back at you another video. Real quick, I just want to tell everybody thank you for the support to the channel, along with all the different ideas you guys would like me to do with videos, now, along with sending me links to stuff that you're unsure of and what my thoughts are. So there's going to be a lot of different videos coming out, and I'm trying not to really hit you guys up with two per day, unless it's really me opening a box and, you know, maybe something that's a questionable video will go over. So as you guys can see across the top, that's what we're going to be hitting today. Somebody gave me a video from Instagram. It's not very long. So let's cut to that video real quick. You guys take a look at it, and then I'm going to talk about it. Employees buying all the cards out before the stores even open. Guys standing here two hours before opening, and we got backdoor action. Backdoor fucking action. Are you serious? Because I need it. Because you need it? You're about to lose your job with, Tar with Walmart now. I hope your family doesn't go hungry over cards, man. Right. Where's your manager at? They allow this? Yo, all right, we're back, we're back. Told you, real quick video, real quick video. Now, by no means, just saying that every Walmart store is do, having people out there doing this, because you never know what everybody collects and does in stores. Um... The video kind of takes place, from what I'm guessing, the way the gentleman talks onto it, um, right as the store is open, because we all know Walmart's not open 24-7 due to COVID right now. So I'm guessing it's 7 o'clock in the morning, and whoever was on night shift unloaded those boxes. And they're like, man, let's grab this stuff and flip it, you know, make a huge profit, and somebody caught it. That's what it looks like in the video. There's not a whole lot more given on to it, but it gives you... You know, something in the back of your mind. Why are these shelves all cleaned out all the time? Well, when you have employees, and I'm not saying that this video is 100% real. Well, it's a real video, but you know what is happening is real. Um, They start seeing people buying all this stuff, and then they're like, man, you're flipping it for how much? So then they, they want to get their hands in the pot, you know? They want to get some money. They see it come in, they're grabbing it. So instead of, you know, 10 guys fighting over all the boxes as soon as uh, MJ Holdings drops it off, you know, now we're starting to worry different ways. And it's really affecting the hobby because, you know, there's a lot of people out there, first off, that can't afford hobby boxes. They're brand new um, into the hobby. You know, it could be any reason at all. And I'm not going to be the person that says, you know, always buy hobby because I, you really, it's your better bet, but with the prices, it's hard. And trust me, I understand the frustrations of buying retail because usually if I have to rebuy into retail, it's either one, I'm buying it from my distributor to keep what I get for very little allocation, or two, I know somebody and I'm only giving them, I'm giving them a couple bucks for time and gas money and shipping. So occasionally I might get in a razz onto this stuff, but I will not pay, you know, full prices, you know, $100 for a blaster box or whatever the heck their prices are. Um, you know, it, it's... It's really, really getting crazy out there, everybody. Um, I just don't even know where to really tell people to go to look for product. I know people cannot afford hobby boxes. They were, you know, leaning on to retail because they want to have something to do with their kids and everything. Uh, well, I'm going to start trying to look to see, you know, maybe there's something out there that I could try doing as giveaways for you guys to where I'm not paying $100 for a retail box. I'll have to take a look at it and see. Um, I, I know what you guys are frustrated just like me on the stuff like that. That you go to the store, you know, a year and a half ago, probably. You used to be able to find them things just jam-packed. And I used to always pick the stuff up. Now, I haven't seen retail packs in a Walmart or Target. I'm trying to think what the last thing I probably bought was that was basketball or football. Maybe Optic Basketball? So, you know, if the employees are doing it, is it wrong? It depends on what the guidelines really are at that store. I know it sucks to hear that, but some of the uh, managers allow them to, you know, go pick up whatever they want. As soon as the store opens up, they can just check out and leave, you know? So, I, I think it's wrong in the aspect they're grabbing it all and not letting anybody else get it. Yes, I, I mean... It's one of those double-edged swords really out there. It sucks for the people that don't work in Walmart. They're fighting just to try to get that stuff. 
at the same time frame, you know, you're going to have men in there and women and children fighting over as soon as MJ Holdings gets it in there. You can't even grab stuff. Guys are literally grabbing their hand and stuff and just tossing it all into a cart as quick as possible. It's really gotten out of hand. I know a lot of people agree with me. And I mean, if I went into a Walmart, this is no joke, and I grabbed, you know, all all the MJ Holdings stuff, I honestly would not sell it. I would either open it, and then I'd probably use a lot to give away back to the channel and stuff like that, like I did in the past. But I'm going to tell you, it's going to be really hard if you're out there looking for it. And if the now the Walmart employees are starting to get smart and do this because they see a big profit margin because they see all the other people doing it, it's going to be a lot, lot harder. So, I mean, honestly, my questions for the video for you guys are, have you ever seen this happen before? Have you heard stories like that? I mean, I want to hear stuff in the comments. I'm really digging you guys leaving the comments because it's making me think. It's making me look at things in a different angle. At the same time frame, you know, I'm learning some new stuff that I didn't know because I was, you know, maybe just not aware of it or i just been in such tight, close groups that we've never seen that stuff before. But... This video is going to drop now. Uh, well, well, the day it drops, was, I was going to do another video out that day, guys. But I really wanted to hit this one up first. One, like I said, it's not my video, so it's not in my area for the Walmarts. And two, there's not a whole lot beside that small little clip they post on there. But it really makes you start wondering when you start running into guys all looking at retail and everybody's talking, I haven't seen here and I come four times a day or whatever. Maybe the employees are grabbing a hold of that stuff. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, honestly, put in the comments section. I want to hear. I, I, I'd like to see what everybody thinks because I don't know how much is being dropped off at these Walmarts for everybody to get. I'm guessing it's very little um, just from those boxes that it shows uh, on there and stuff. So, all right, guys, I do appreciate it again. If you notice, there was optic basketball in that guy's car, too. But then again, I thought maybe it was an older video and I saw that uh, hoop stuff, too. So. But other than that, I do appreciate the support, everybody. Make sure you always leave a thumbs up. Throw some comments in the in the, uh, in the video, too, so that way I get stuff to look at and try to respond to and just learn like everybody else does in the hobby with all the new changes that are coming out there. And I'll keep on trying to keep everybody informed of what I see um, with some guidance videos and stuff for new and old collectors both. Uh, other than that, if you're not subscribed, you guys know hit that subscribe button. Other than that, catch you guys for the next video.